Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be an Aries, an Aries moon, and as well Aries rising. Weekly tarot reading, uh, December 9th to December 15th, and we have a new spread on our hands. Again, a card, a tarot spread. Just it's not going to be uh, elemental dignities because um, <clears throat> the elemental dignities is quite complex. And it's something that really stops me of or obstructs me of making videos. So I kind of decided to try something more chill for the weekly videos. Okay, so uh, the first card here, as per usual, uh, is going to be the topic of the week. Usually this card is represented by the current situation or in the overall spreads. And that is going to be the Nine of Cups. Now, the second one represents the energies that are supporting the topic of the week. We do have the Seven of uh, the Seven of Swords. Then the third one here is going to be the challenge uh, for you guys to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Four card. The fourth card uh, that we do have is going to be the blessings uh, and the gifts that you can rely on throughout the week. That is going to be the Knight of Cups. The fifth card uh, that we have will relate to how the people sees you or how the people are going to take on you throughout the week. Yeah, or how the people are accepting you. I don't know how to say it really in English. But anyway, we do have the Death card. Then the uh, the sixth card here, it uh, speaks for what can help your goals. So in other words, this card points the things that you should strive on doing, and that is going to be the Queen of uh, Swords. The seven card it is about what hurts your goals, or in other words, the things that you should not do, and that is the six of swords and then the last one refers to the guidance here we do have the seven of wands okay flawless so uh the first two cards we have to um re revisit or review together we do have the goal and then the energies that are supporting uh, the team and then the energies that are supporting the team of the week so uh the team obviously is very good here it does have it does look like that the week is going to be quite of a um a good week for you i would say it's because the nine of cups does point that throughout the week the, the theme and the topic of the week for you Aries, it is going to be where you are securing on a uh, some achievements of yours um can, uh, simultaneously how can i say um understanding that securing on them is very vital because just the achievement on its own it's only the first step of one tasks securing it and bringing it home if you will or rather like um, transforming it into a, a long-lasting benefit it is another thing and this is what your focus mainly is going to be throughout the week 
okay to transform good times into your relationship into long lasting good times into your relationship or to transform success into your business a temporary success into your business into a long lasting one like this which um uh, points that the week itself uh, and don't get me wrong these things are going to be quite easy for you to do which speaks that the week is going to be dappled with the uh, exhilaration uh, life fulfilling emotions if you will and a fullness of life in general so the energies that are supporting the team and the topic are the seven of swords and a really few words is what we can say here it is that at the end of the day it's, it's about your personal well-being though those are the energies that are pushing you into that direction okay it's more like I uh, they are kind of selfish kind of energies but in the same time they are allowing one person to grow uh, asking one person or you in this case to turn on a uh, to turn on your glance more upon your private and personal stuff and storm those kind of a situations in which you um, feel mistreated feel misjudged for example and in generally um, standing for your own personal right so those are the energies of that are supporting the topic you are going to make these um, consolidations here okay and uh, actions of securing things as um, yeah and endeavors it is because uh, you're going to stand behind your or for your personal rights so the challenge uh, here is going to be uh, the full card I'm pretty much points that um, it's uh, how can I say it at points that it's going to be challenging for you to give an expression to new ideas and new goals or to chase on new goals and it's kind of understandable is because you're going to have so much other things to do what I mean is securing your current achievements so obviously we cannot have it all but um, the challenge does not really reside that much over a new goals more like over a your ideas so even though right now you are in a certain state okay where you're having a pretty good time okay and you are happy you are going to be happy of how things are unfolding ideas for future development should always reside in the back of one's mind and that is the challenge for you to keep on sustaining those kind of uh, ideas for yourself for a future growth so the other card here represents the gifts and the blessings that you can um, pretty much rely on throughout this uh, week and that is the knight of cups so gifts are a uh, gifts are and excuse me blessings for you or a couple here now the first one it is a about um, how can i say it amplified uh, sense of that you have to follow the the, the dreams of your heart and not strain for from that particular way nor for a second and the other gift is the realization that um, everything is achieved by a hard work and not by a chance or succession which means that something belongs to someone not because he has a right upon it but because he takes it and for that reason it doesn't your gifts here are the gifts of, of um, i don't know how to say it in english but of business uh, the virtue it's uh it's the virtue of busyness instead of a how do you what is the opposite of the virtue um affliction maybe you know so the affliction is laziness so the opposite of the laziness it is your blessing here that you're gonna have throughout the week so how the other sees you it is what we do have the other card here aries and that is going to be the death card so the other sees you in a few ways um well the best way how i can describe the death card is that the other sees you as a person determined to a make a difference that is one way how the other can see you the other way it is a, a person who is determined to uh, leave the past where it belongs to it's kind of like a person determined to a move on toward a new life so 
just I will allow myself to give you a, a few thoughts here from my behalf, okay? That, for example, if uh, you are in the midst of breakup with uh, with a partner of yours, that partner is going to see you as someone who is determined or now ready to move on, okay? So, th that is not necessarily a good thing. That is what I am trying to say here. People are going to see you as someone who is going through a, the flux of things um, and also a person who is liberating from uh, from a certain things, certain behaviors, situations, you know, and in generally standards and goals as well. So people are going to see you as someone different here than what they have expected in general. So the other card, it is a, about what you can do to um, manifest your goals here. What is helping your goals? Uh, we do have the Queen of Swords, and that is your personal stance <clears throat> throughout the week. So what this card here uh, represents for you, it is uh, the subtlety of emancipation. What I mean is the alignment with uh, the environment that you can achieve the synchrony with things that are going on around you. Therefore, being capable to push anything that comes at your, uh, at your disposal through, right? So, uh, in generally, it's, it's about self-belief. What can help you here is the, the belief that you can do anything that comes in your, uh, in your way or you can deal with anything that comes um, in your way with the Queen of Swords. But uh, the, biggest, um, the biggest thing that is going to help you is information because the Queen of Swords is forewarned kind of person and therefore a forearmed kind of a, a person. So the other one, uh, it is a, about uh, what will slow down your goals or what you should not do here throughout the week. We do have the Six of Swords. Couple of things, Aries. Now, the first one is that you shouldn't uh, be afraid. Now, the card here points that you may sit on certain uh, thresholds that you need to traverse moving from one stage into another or from one level from a lower level into a higher level i don't know how to display it anyway uh in other way and in between there is a threshold that uh, usually provokes a sense of fear into one's individual that one can lose a lot traversing this uh, this threshold and um, in reality there is nothing that you can that you should be afraid of because there is nothing that you can lose here these card that card points to a brave attempt to improve one's circumstances and what you should not do in this case is to be afraid of doing those steps okay and the other thing that you shouldn't do is to try convincing people, especially if we're talking about a group of people. I mean, those who are seeing righteousness in your goal and in, and in what you are saying, they're going to follow you anyway. The others always are going to be skeptical. So just stop trying to please everybody. And uh, the last card here points to the guidance that Tara is offering. We do have uh, the seven of ones for you, Aries, and a uh, few couple of guidance is what we do have here. Now, there are to be some certain rumors and um, in general words that are addressing you, but they are behind your back. So they are a noxious words and rumors. And those words and rumors, they need to be addressed straight away. What I mean is that you cannot leave... Um, what is misspoken in your uh, in your behalf to spread around and to uh, and to suffuse your environment, if you will. Okay, you gotta address this straight away. And the other, <clears throat> excuse me, the other guidance with the seven of wands, it is that there is timing for everything, and you are gonna have your windows of opportunities, and you need to have the readiness for action.
for this week. So it does look like, uh, on a final note here it is, it does look like that the week is going to be, how can I say it, it's uh, quite dynamic here from those cards. You have a lot of things to do here, or generally to uh, do the final, the final moves, the final work, so you can stabilize and secure some good achievements of yours, so you can make them long, long lasting into, uh, into the future, into the future, while in the same time, um, keep in the back of your mind and an ideas for a future growth so yeah that being said said that was your weekly tarot reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye